In this video, we'll take a look at the uh, our little approximator here for finding the uh, volume. But instead of looking at the curve yet, I decided I was going to just set up this quick little simulation here, which is so I figured maybe instead we can instead of just finding the volume of this, I can set the cubes in motion in here and find not necessarily to find the volume of this object that's open on the top or this one, but to see based upon <coughs> it filling up which one feels faster and then we could essentially compare volumes and see which one was the greater volume by which one filled up fast. Well I can I know off the bat this isn't going to work well but I'm just proving the concept to myself in the sense that this cube is definitely too big for this approximation but the limitation I know in this case is going to be as far as the processing power but I decided to set it up anyway just to check it out so let's just see where this thing is here let's Let's get a the cube in the scene. Let's see if it works. Let's put it over here. Better raise it up a little bit and move him over. See, nope, he's outside of it. See, nope, now he's inside of it there. All right, let's run it. Let's run all these extra cubes and see if it'll actually work. Come up through here. This is just a quick trick. See if it works. But it's still interesting enough to me to continue with it. And like I said, it really just comes down to, well, yeah, faster computer. <laughs> so it is trying to push up. Now I see what we do also, we have error terms running out of here. And I believe this isn't so much, I think this is an issue of uh, the weight of the objects now pushing against it, maybe pushing these out like this. So that's something I'll have to consider as well. But here we go, they're cruising on down. And we'll all let it run for a little while. But we can see we're losing yeah, these error cubes. Are, and it's dropping into each bucket. That's dropping each one. At some point in time, if I don't run out of processing power and hang the system, these things should actually fill up. And it'll kind of give me a general idea. Let me see how many cubes I have there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I don't have this sealed at the top, so there's things leaking out. But uh, it might be close. We'll just kind of get an idea. I mean, visually, they're fairly close. This is, but, I mean, this would be an easy volume to calculate with traditional integral calculus. And this one is relatively easy as well. It's kind of a cylindrical thing with some changes in the diameter. So that's no big deal. But still, again, since this is integral calculus, for, from an artist's perspective, for me, this is a lot more fun. <laughs> I just need to, I just need to, jump forward about 10 years where the computers are blistering fast. But things have really come a long way. Physics engines have really grown up. People are doing a great job. Processors are really getting incredible. They're doing a great job there as well. And then artists like me, we can have a lot more fun. Let's see. Well, it looks like it's going to take a while. You can see, in fact, I'm going to quit adding cubes to the scene. I was still adding them there. Uh, the, the cubes are designed to have a lifetime, you know, uh, not com terribly long, so they'll fade out, and then the, pr the simulation might uh, speed up just a tad right towards the end. Let's see. Well, in general, it looks like pretty, you know, common volume between the two of them. But if you had some, you know, really odd shape, you know, that was really hard to tell, and, you know, maybe it's a good method. In fact, this uh, approach, to me, would only seem to be good for maybe the next 10 or 15 years, because if the computers get too fast, heaven forbid, then a simulation like this, you would run it, and it would just fill the things up immediately and give you your answer. <laughs> what fun would that be? Well, anyway, all right, well, I think that gives us an idea. Let's see which one. This one's about to tip out first. Let's see, it's pretty close. Yep. Let's see. They're still coming down.
This one's right on the edge, it looks like, right there, that cube. There he goes, he fell out. All right, well, that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm after, and uh, there's all kinds of things I could run, and I'm going to be doing a lot of experimentation just for fun. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.